بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله I greet all of you with the Muslim greetings of peace Assalamu alaikum To the audience that is watching my name is Imam Mansour Hamdi Ibn Sabri I am visiting here in Tuba from Atlanta, Georgia. It is a great honor. It is a great honor and a warm feeling in my heart to be here uh, to experience the light that is represented in Tuba, the Noor. And I want to share a bit about why I'm here and what we are working to do in connecting the American Muslim community with the community here in Tuba. First and foremost, you should know that Islam is the fastest growing religion in America. And you should know that many of the ones who are taking their shahadatain, taking the kalima, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. They are your brothers and your sisters who have been away from Africa for over 400 years. They are the African American people. The African American Muslims represent the largest majority of Muslims in America. And I think my, um, my visit here is truly an example of a great opening for the return of your brothers and sisters to be here and support and work hand in hand for the progress um, in the work for Tuba. I think that also that what Tuba represents as a city of prosperity, the city or the tree, the goal, the tree of Jannah, the goal for our lives to be successful is a great mission and a great idea for all people throughout the world to come to know and appreciate and love uh, this beautiful city called Tuba. I'm here for a business and education tour to really find ways to connect our communities together so that the African American can return home and uh, give support for what they have uh, gained in America, but more importantly, benefit from the great legacy and the great teachings of Islam here in Tuba. Excuse me. We, we see in today's world a misrepresentation of Al-Islam, that Al-Islam is being looked at as something not of peace, but of the opposite of peace. Al-Islam is being seen as something that is um, not benefiting the humanity to become more excellent, but holding humanity back. We see in Tuba this to be the opposite or incorrect. We see in Tuba the great establishment of a peaceful city, the great establishment of great uh, knowledge with the ulama who are here, and the scholarship that is met by the common people, everyday people, loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, loving his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and being reminded day in and day out of the great blessing of being Muslim and being of those who serve for the good of humanity. I note also that being here in Tuba, I've come to realize and know uh, the, the I, the beauty that the people of Tuba uh, have for things that are done in excellence. The design of the city is most impressive. The design of how Tuba has been uh, uh, laid out in its geography and its positioning of the, the city's uh, most sacred sites uh, is no, no, no less than a great miracle of its design to really show the beauty of the place. 
Uh, many would come and witness the, 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 the architectural beauty as well from the Masajid here in Tuba uh, to be an example of the inner beauty of the people. What you see outwardly is something that reflects and lets us know what's happening inwardly. The Dahir and the Baltin are together in Tuba. What we see is beauty and what we know of the people is something of, of beauty, the inner state, the remembrance of Allah, the good character. All of these things I, I, I'm bearing witness with my own eyes, uh, the life, the life here in Tuba and I'm very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to be present with you here in Tuba to share this, this brief time to explore and understand the history the legacy of our, our Sheikh Al Qadim, Sheikh Ahmed Dubamba, and his work to preserve uh, a great legacy of knowledge, of Ilm. So, all of this is to say that most of what's happening here um, is not known by the world, and not most of what's happening here is not known by your brothers and sisters in America. And I hope that this message will encourage you to continue uh, to do the great work and legacy of Sheikh Ahmed Dubamba, the Sheikh, Sheikh Al Qadim. Uh, continue to reach the goal of establishing Tuba and to make it a city that competes with all cities in the world and be a light for truth, be a light for uh, Islam so that the legacy of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Muhammad the prophet will be witnessed by humanity in our modern day and time and that our brothers and sisters in America will come and see and appreciate uh, the great work that's being done uh, here in uh, in West Africa here in Senegal here in the blessed city of Touba so with that I I give my greetings to you uh, and my thanks for your hospitality um, and on behalf of the Muslim American community and the Americans in general I would like to thank uh, my host uh, all of those whom I visited and they opened their homes uh, for me to have dialogue with them and a special and warm uh, thanks to uh, the Khalifa Sheikh Sidi Mukhtar Beke and his spokesman as Sheikh Bashir Beke. Nashkurukum um, Bikathirin wa and we hope and we pray that Allah continues to bless your work and the city of Tuba. May Allah be with us all. Jazana wa jazakumullahu khairan wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.